Welcome to an introduction to Zcash. This is the first episode in a series in which we go over just the basics. In this video we cover the origins of Zcash, the problems that Zcash solves for, the organizations within the ecosystem, and the development fund. It starts with Bitcoin, the first cryptocurrency brought into existence, with its white paper published in 2008. It had some important characteristics key to its early success. This was proof of work consensus, its known total supply of 21 million coins. It also sought to achieve a level of network privacy with its use of pseudonymous addresses. Um, the chain was totally transparent. Satoshi was well aware of this issue, stating early on that zero knowledge proofs would allow for a more convenient implementation of Bitcoin. Zuko Wilcox, the founder of the Zcash company, which later became the ECC, actually wrote the first ever blog post about Bitcoin. In a recent interview, he explained what the original intention of Bitcoin was with regards to user privacy. It's a great video, I'll put the link in the description. The Zerocoin paper published in 2014 was the first step towards using zero knowledge cryptography. This was later improved upon in the Zerocash paper. The Zerocoin protocol introduces the base coin Zerocoin model in which transparent base coins are burned to mint private zero coins. Transparent coins are able to mint private zero coins. These coins are held within the shielded accumulators or buckets of fixed denominations. This limitation actually led to data leakage over time. Several examples of serious vulnerabilities and flaws within the zero coin protocol were discovered. Check out the zero to zero knowledge led on Zerocoin and the projects which were later built on it. I'll put a link in the description. Zerocash provided major advantages, the primary being the single shielded pool in which any denominations could be sent to and from it. Over time, Zcash actually developed several shielded pools. Um, we're gonna get into that in another video. The primary method of oppression and censorship of ideas is financial. Funding for organizations and people is key to freedom of speech. Because Zcash has complete layer one privacy, both sender and recipient details, including the amount being transferred, are protected. Lack of optional privacy on transparent chains means personal and business data, which includes financial information, is leaked to third parties, criminals and adversarial nation states without user consent. Programmable transactions and interoperability with other chains is also very exciting. We'll take a look at the uh, new bridges currently in development in another later video. Zcash also has an encrypted memo field, which is currently being used to introduce additional functionality in web applications such as free to z The Electric Coin Company, originally the Zcash Company, being the founding organization tasked with core protocol development and regulatory outreach. The Zcash Foundation, an independent organization which has led development of Zebra, a full node implementation for Zcash, and technologies such as Frost. It also holds a number of events every year such as Zcon. Zcash Community Grants Program, or ZCG, Funds and overseas community funded projects such as Zingo Wallet, the development of Zcash shielded assets, and many others. Shielded Labs is a new organization based in Switzerland with the express goal of further decentralizing the development and sustainable maintenance of the network. Currently, the Zcash block reward is 3.15 sec, due for halving in November of 2024. Out of each block, the Zcash protocol distributes 80% of the reward to the network miners. The Zcash Foundation receives 5%, the Zcash Community Grants Program receives the largest with 8%, and the ECC receiving 7%. The advantage of this system is that it enables Zcash to carry out um, development without coercion or direction normally found in venture capitalist funded projects. This design can also be altered on the protocol level at any time, if decided upon by the community. The community itself gets insight into the organizations through quarterly transparency reports, bi-weekly community calls, and open forum discussions. So in summary, we've learned 
the origins of Zcash, from Bitcoin and Zeroin to the Z uh, Zero Cash protocol, the important differences between Zeroin and Zero Cash, which actually made Zcash the first ever viable zero knowledge application, the organizations tasked with maintaining and improving upon the currency, and the community governance, which leads the conversation and direction of the project as a whole. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Join us in the next one. We'll be comparing the technologies used in other cryptos with Zcash and going a bit more in depth. Thank <laughs> you.